Hey everyone, April Marie Tucker here from beautiful sunny Florida, L3 leader within my lead system pro and newest addition to the master marketers team. And I just wanted to shoot a quick video and um, share with you some hot tips that will really help you propel your business and your business with my lead system pro. Some things that I actually started recently implementing probably about six months ago that really helped me well, if you actually probably about more like three months ago that really helped me reach some of my goals and my personal goals and, and really pushed me forward to reaching L3 last month. So um, just a couple of tips, and I know they're going to help you. Um, first of all, I know a lot of you probably know, you know, you should go and get a journal. You know, you want to create a journal and you want to, you know, write your notes and things that you learned and things that, you know, um, you know, basically your goals and all of these things. And, and, you know, and I haven't been somebody who's been really on top of doing that until recently. And it's really, really helped me. But something that really, really helped me even more more, and you're going to need my lead system pro for this tip actually, um, is really creating like a progress report within my journal, you know, so I've got my goals and things I need to do written down here. And I, you know, if there's a training going on, I'll write some notes in here and, you know, this is my journal. Um, but what I've done is I've actually created this progress report and um, I track every little activity, every little activity in my business, um, accomplishments, you know, and, and it could be anything like, you know, I made a new connection on Facebook. I, you know, I reached out to a team member and we, we had a mastermind session. Um, I, I talked to five people about my primary business. I talked to, you know, 10 people. I called back 10 MLSP leads. I made um, five new connections on Twitter. Whatever it is, is really, you know, it's, it's really important that you're tracking this stuff because it's really going to help you know that you're on track because any activity you do today is going to lead to more activity tomorrow and the next day and the next day, you know, because really, I mean, marketing really builds on itself. And I, and I kind of wish I wouldn't, I, I would have known this in the beginning, but it's so funny because, you know, the puzzle pieces come together differently for people. Um, but, you know, really the, the marketing, you know, the marketing aspect. So if you're really getting started with My Lead System Pro and let's say you're brand new, you've been in for less than a month. Okay. Um, it's really important that you understand that the activity you do today really builds on the activity that will happen in your business tomorrow. So all the marketing that you put out there, it continues to build on itself and it continues to progress. So it's it's really helpful if you start a progress report so that that way you can keep, keep track of the natural progression that's supposed to happen in your business and know that you're on track, you know, know that, you know, you created a piece of content. Um, let's say you, you put out a new training on YouTube or you put out a new blog post or you put out a, a you know, a post on Facebook or whatever it was, something that's going to move you forward in your business, keeping track of that progress so that you know that you are doing the necessary things um, and also making sure that you keep the track of your progress so that you can continue to improve, um, which I'm going to give you another hot tip because um, I actually didn't know about tracking links. I didn't know um, that you could put, you know, a T, a T var variable on the end of your link so that you can track where your leads are coming from within my lead system pro and once I started doing that it really really helped me with tracking what I needed to do more of you see especially when you're starting off you're not sure really what strategy is going to work for you yet so maybe you're trying you know solo ads you're trying you know maybe you're putting some blog content out there putting a you know a tracking link in your links so that you know where that lead came from so that you know you need to do more of that activity if it's bringing you results really really that helped me a ton and I'll actually leave a link below but you can simply go back into your here's what you'll do and I and I would do a screen share but um, I don't have access to doing that right now but here's what you'll need to do is you'll need to add and I'll add more description below, but you need to add a forward slash T question or question mark T equals, okay, and that's your variable there. And then you'll want to add, you know, um, like I did an MLS pity, uh, MLSP video, okay, so I'll write MLSP, what or whatever it is that for my title, what is MLSP YouTube, you know, YT at the end, so that I know that that's where that lead came from. And when I go to call that lead, 
I can quickly identify with them because I know what they're interested in and I know what they saw and what content um, they were looking at that urged them to opt in. So it really helps with that aspect too when you're calling your leads to know where they're coming from. But then after I have done that tracking link, what I will do is I'll actually go back in and create a new tracking link for that particular link. So you've created your link and you'll go back and you'll create a tracking link and that way you're able to see how many hits that link is getting so you know how many unique visitors are coming to that and you can track your conversion rate. Okay, because your conversion rate is going to you know, obviously you'll know that if, you know, you put a new video on one of your capture pages, which one is converting better is really going to help you improve your marketing and start getting the real results that you want because this is all about improvement. This is all about making, um, you know, things that you're doing today better in the future because we always have to, it's so interesting because when I started, with MLSP, you know, I started creating videos before I even really knew what content creation was. I didn't really have a plan. I guess my plan was to fail forward at the time, but I really, I knew my definite purpose. So I knew my goal and it didn't matter that the plan wasn't there. Even if I, even if my plan was to fail forward, at least I'm moving forward and all that really matters is that you have that goal. So always constantly improving on what you're doing is going to be critical um, when you're getting started with My Lead System Pro. But remember, any mar marketing that you put out today is going to continue to build on itself. So being very consistent in your activities every single day and printing out your top 10 um, ways to fire your boss in your MLSP back office is going to really help you keep on track too, but creating that progress report, you know, I mean, if you look back in, in January, I know I had 80 new opt-ins to my list. I know I helped some teammates. I know I talked to four people that day. And you know what? It's so funny because then at my next day, when I go to, to my to-do, April, you really need to improve on how many people you're talking to about your income generators today. So that's, so that's going to obviously be in my to-do list tomorrow is, hey, April, you only talked to four people today. That's not enough if you want to reach your goal. So now I know I need to go back and I need to write to do tomorrow, okay? And I need to say, do it, talk to 10 people about your, um, you know, MLSP, you know, your primary business, whatever it is. I know that I need to make sure that I'm reaching out to more people the following day. So that's really going to help you. It's helped me tremendously, tremendously reach a lot of my goals. And I continue to do this because it's helped me so much. So I hope it helped you. And I will see you on the next post. This is April Marie signing out. Bye for now.